According to an old Hindu legend, there was once a time when all humans were originally powerful, expansive beings, limitless in their abilities. They were said to be gods themselves. But falling prey to their own power, they fell from grace and began to abuse and manipulate their own potential and capabilities. Brahma, the god of wisdom and creation, was concerned about this blatant abuse by the humans, decided to action in tandem with other gods and hide divine powers of humans from them, thus to prevent further abuse. Where to hide the divinity was the big question. So Brahma called a council of gods to help him decide. Let's hide it in the air, some suggested. But Brahma said, no, someday humans will use their intellect and create a creation that will fly through the air and discover it. Let's bury it deep in the earth, said the gods. But Brahma answered, no, that'll not do because humans will dig into the earth and find it. Then the gods said, let's sink it in the deepest ocean. But Brahma said, no, not there, for humans have such power and imagination, they will learn to dive into the ocean and find it. After pondering on this very difficult question, some gods suggested, let's take it to the top of the highest mountain and hide it there. But once again Brahma replied, no, that will not do either, because they will eventually climb every mountain and once again take up the divinity. Then the gods gave up and said, We don't know where to hide it, because it seems there is no place on earth or in the ocean that the human beings will not eventually reach. Brahma thought long and deep and then said, Here's what we will do. We will hide the divinity deep in the center of their own being. For humans, will search here and there, but will never think to look for it inside their true selves. All the gods agreed that this was the perfect hiding place, and the deed was done. Ages passed, and since that time, humans have been on a desperate and unending search, traveling every corner of the planet, going up and down, digging, diving, climbing, exploring, searching for something that already exists within themselves. The divinity within humanity is still the best kept secret of the ages. There is a power in this universe. It flows through everyone and everything. Within the deepest core of our being radiates that power, a divine presence that is our own source. It's within each one of us, like a personal, individual sun, giving us life and nourishment, a dimension that's infinitely deep and vast. People call it different names, doesn't matter what it's called. Names are interchangeable, in fact they are inadequate, almost obsolete. Human mind looks for dichotomies. Feeling separate from this sacred presence causes us to feel restless and lonely. For this presence is divine peace. The mind can be the instrument of either bondage or liberation, ignorance or enlightenment. If we turn the mind towards the external world as the reality, it becomes force of attachment. But if we turn the mind within the inner being as the reality, it slows down and comes to reflect that higher reality. The mind becomes a mirror for the light of the self to shine. When we merge into silence, there is a crystal clarity available right now. 
detached, rooted in the deep stillness that lies in the core of our being. When we embrace that stillness, we go from a place within us that is indivisible. When we connect with that source, we start to see the world is connected and is one. All divisions disappear. The truth is crystal clear. What I do to others comes back to me multiplied because I am you and you are me. The veil of separation disappears. When we connect to that divine presence, there is no desire to understand from the perspective of the mind. The understanding we get is existential, whole, in harmony with the pulse of life itself. We come from the unknown and we go into the unknown. We've been here thousands of times and we will be here thousands of times. Our essential being is immortal, but our body is mortal. Our consciousness is something beyond the body and mind. Something beyond everything. It comes into expression and goes into the unknown. Tap into that source by getting grounded, connected, silent. That pure energy pulsating ready to give us the strength to accomplish what we need to do and ready to welcome us back home when we want to rest. It's always waiting for you. You don't even have to step out of your house to find it. Thank you and namaste. This is Nico on the moon.